January the 9th, 2023. Guys, you're looking at images from yesterday up until now of our sun, and this is from what's called the Soho Lasco satellite. Uh, it gives us Earth-facing perspectives. Now, the red uh, section in the middle is like you hold in your eye. You're looking up in the sun or up in the sky, and you have to block the sun, and that is what allows to, us to get this clear image around it. You can see on the 8th, we'll let it play back through, that um, there was an e explosion in the bottom left corner. Watch this. Now, what has happened today? And we're going to look at that on the Solar Dynamics Observatories. We've had an X1.9 solar flare. And uh, last video, we mentioned that it was about a 20% chance of that. The sun is becoming very active if you take a look at this. Now, switching satellites to what's called the Solar Dynamics Observatory. Uh, this are today's images. Now, what has happened is the sunspot that we were watching that was um had thrown off two sun uh, X flares on the backside. That's not the one that uh, created this X flare of the day. It's the one to the very left of your image creeping around. It's very active, and we'll look at it closer and pause it at that point. But uh, X one point nine is a very powerful flare. And now, because of right there, you saw it. We'll stop it right there. Now, because of the side of the sun that it's on it's not directly earth facing though it's like a light bulb if you can see it you're going to get that x uh, ray uh, radiation and what happens is that it ionizes the earth's atmosphere but there's the sunspot but the one to the right of it was the one that threw the two x flares off on the back side we now have three active regions that are, have, are they're magnetically capable of uh, very strong flares and we'll take a look at that. Uh, you get when you get uh, two different magnetic fields combined into the same solar group area, it's like a hot wire and a ground wire arcing and touching. Then a solar dynamics observatory, different filter. There's 12 cameras on that satellite, by the way, and each one's filtered different for obvious reasons. You can really see the magnetic lines of force that surround our sun. Check that out. Flare again, left side. Look at the energy involved in these other two sunspots that are Earth-facing. It says there's an increasing chance of flares. One X-class solar flare already happened today, and more could follow. The sun now has two large, unstable sunspots capable of producing very strong explosions. AR-3182 that I mentioned the other day, and now the AR-3184. But um, there's three that we're going to have to watch. X-class solar flare earth orbiting satellites have just detected an X1.9. Radiation ionized the top of the Earth's atmosphere, causing a shortwave radio blackout centered on the Pacific side of South America. Mariners, aviators, and ham radio operators may have noticed fade-outs and other unusual propagation effects at frequencies below 25 megahertz. This was an impulsive solar flare, which means it was very quick, intense, but probably too brief to lift a coronal mass ejection out of the sun's atmosphere. They call them CMEs. But what they're going to do is wait for information um, a little later today from the other satellites to actually see it. But one on that edge, and we're looking at 3184, 3181, and 3182. All of these have the potential even though they're only mentioning the one on the very far left in 3182. But you see the different colors, the blues and the reds in these groups. One is hot, one is negative. That's the simple way to look at it. They will intermix, and when they do, they arc together, and that's what we just saw happen with 3184 there on the left. So it takes about 14 days from a sunspot coming again from this one on the left to cover half, uh, or rotate halfway around the sun. So, you know, you're looking at uh, seven, eight, nine days where you an X-flare would be uh, Earth-affecting. Look at these large black holes where these sunspots are. That's what it looks like. And, guys, I've done the calculation on the uh, width of the sun, the width of the Earth, and it would take 109 planets across just this orange line to cover the face of the sun. And uh, those black holes that you see there are actually sunspot colorations. They are larger than uh, the models of our planet. But guys, it's a, I've got an update coming up on Russia in probably less than an hour. We just got in today. Uh, we started this morning on 
two calls actually in the same location. We went in there. We didn't see Bandit. Uh, it was a dog that they said looked like him, but uh, we saturated that area, uh, area with flowers. Then we got a call uh, from about 10 miles north of us out in the country of a, a dog that looked a lot like him running with a smaller brown dog. And a guy called me that was uh, deer hunting in the area, and he saw them. And another lady that lived right there where he was had seen what in the pit. There's a picture on all the flowers of Bandit, and it looked like to her it was him. So we haven't given up, not at all. Uh, I think we're seven or 800 flowers out now and talked to that many people probably also and met a lot of dogs. And I'll say this once again. There's a great... There's a great population here on this planet of people that love animals. And uh, as many doors I've, that I've knocked on and people that I've talked to, they all tell you their dog stories if one got lost or got found or whatever happened to it, you know. And they, and so and so when you hand them the flyer, they uh, immediately pay attention. Their demeanor changes, and they want to help you. It's been uh, amazing because... Then it's pictures on all the Facebook pages in this area of the different communities, pets, lost and found, things like that. And it seems like in the last few days at least, maybe more than that, most of the people we talk to when we hand them a flyer in their door or we see them in, in some location, they say, yeah, that's Bandit. We see him on Facebook or we've seen the poster. and the, uh, uh, All the businesses in Mendenhall have the flyers where we are at and uh and other places too mckee south of us so guys that's an update on bandit we have not given up we will not give up i think he's gotten uh a little far from home but you know huskies love to um they love to run and he may have been picked up and then got some got away from somebody he may be lost at this point but these reports came in uh from him out in the country where the deer hunters were, and they, the, that deer hunter has two black and white huskies also. And his were in, um, inside his home when I, he was down there hunting. So he was uh, he knew exactly what the dog was, and, uh, of course, if you have huskies, you're not ever going to harm one of them. And that was good to know. But, in, but another thing about that was we had had a call before, and we got out there, and I may have mentioned in an earlier video that... Uh, and we got when we got to this location, there were two huskies there, and we said, and they were black and white. Neither had a blue eye and brown eye like Bandit does. They were, I think, they were both blue eyes. But anyway, um, so we, we kind of when that's happened to us quite a few times, but um, we kind of said, well, that's it in that area. Then last night, the guy that owns those huskies called me. Like I said, his were at home, and he saw what looked like bandit to him running. So all we saturated that entire neighborhood with flyers, put the drone up in that location. Every, all the people that seen him and all of their neighbors have now the picture. They're gonna, watching for him. They're going to get him, uh, put him in the house and call me. And we're going to, we're hoping and praying that that's him. Don't want to be long winded on that. Watch for an update on Russia guys. They have sealed the, uh, I don't really want to say Ukrainian soldiers because they're, they're soldiers from everywhere involved, and that's about to get much deeper uh, as far as the involvement with NATO. That will be coming up in less than an hour. We just got in. It uh, was after dark last night. I was going to put a video up, but we got a call then, and we got there just before it got dark. Got to look around, talk to some folks, and uh, it was late, and we'd been doing it all day, so... Uh, give me an hour and we'll have a full Russian update. It's a heads up. Be safe.